Rangers. The last components of our one versatile ship in orbit, the Endurance, our final expedition. You sent people out there looking for a new home? The Lazarus missions. Well, that sounds cheerful. Lazarus came back from the dead. Sure, but he had to die in the first place. There's not a planet in our solar system that could sustain life in the nearest stars over a thousand years away. I mean, that doesn't even qualify as futile. Where'd you send them? Cooper, I can't tell you any more unless you agree to pilot this craft. You're the best pilot we ever had. I barely left the stratosphere. This team never left the simulator. We need a pilot, and this is the mission that you were trained for. Oh, without even knowing it? An hour ago, you didn't even know I was alive. I mean, you, you, you were going anyway. We had no choice. But something sent you here. They chose you. Well, who's they? How long have you gone? Hard to know. Years? I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Who's they? We started detecting gravitational anomalies almost 50 years ago, mostly small distortions to our instruments in the upper atmosphere. In fact, I believe you encountered one yourself. Yeah, with the straits. I crashed something, tripped my fly-by-wire. Exactly. But of all these anomalies, the most significant is this. Out near Saturn, a disturbance of space-time. At a wormhole? It appeared 48 years ago. And it leads where? Another galaxy. A wormhole's not a naturally occurring phenomenon. Someone placed it there. They? Mm. And whoever they are, they appear to be looking out for us. That wormhole lets us travel to other stars. Came along right as we needed it. They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. Twelve, in fact, from our initial probes. You sent probes into that? Mm hmm We sent people into it. Ten years ago. The Lazarus missions. Twelve possible worlds, twelve Ranger launches. Carrying the bravest humans ever to live. Led by the remarkable Dr. Mann. Each person's landing pod had enough life support for two years. But they could use hibernation to stretch that, making observations on organics over a decade or more. Their mission was to assess their world, and if it showed potential, then they could send out a signal, bed down for the long nap, wait to be rescued. And what if the world didn't show promise? Hence the bravery. You don't have the resources to visit all 12. No. Data transmission back through the wormhole is rudimentary. Simple binary pings on an annual basis give us some clue as to which worlds have potential. And one system shows promise. And one, that's a bit of a long shot, isn't it? One system with three potential worlds? A long shot. 